If you have fine lines or mature lids and this holiday season you want some shimmer on your lids, this is how it's going to look. That's because shimmers are highlighters and they highlight everything on your skin including texture and fine lines. That doesn't mean you only have to use mattes on your lids. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique where you can use shimmers and shines and that won't exaggerate your fine lines or wrinkles. So if you're ready, let's begin. As always, I'm starting with my brows and I'm going to be using the Precision Edge Brow Pencil by House Labs in the shade Brown Black to fill in just the sparse areas. Using the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist Weightless Eye Primer, I'm going to prime my lids and to spread it out, I'm using the Milani Concealer Brush. Although this primer doesn't settle in the fine lines, I like to use that extra layer of protection by setting it with some translucent powder. I'm using Laura Mercier but you're welcome to use any translucent powder that you use. We're going to be creating a stunning eyeshadow look using the It's All Good palette by Colourpop. I'm going to touch and feel my socket area and I'm going to dip into All About It which is a very light peach shade and I'm going to use this as a transition in my crease. Basically we are building a crease here and the brush that I'm using is a Wet n Wild blending brush. I'm going to keep on adding more and more eyeshadow till I'm happy with the intensity while I'm blending it out. And then I'm also going to be smoking it out in my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to be deepening the outer crease and the outer corner using the shade Vibes. And for this, I'm going to be using the E28 Shading Brush by Rose and Ben Beauty. This is a flat fluffy brush, so it'll help me focus at the crease because it's flat and it's fluffy, so it'll help me blend it out as well. And then I'm going to use the same eyeshadow in my lower lash line using a small angled brush. I'm going to stamp it very close to my lashes. Now here's the trick to using shimmer eyeshadows. Rather than using a shimmer eyeshadow directly on the lid, which can highlight the fine lines, try to use a sequence eyeshadow. There's quite a few sequence eyeshadows in this palette and I'm going to be using the shade Sunny. Basically, it's a matte eyeshadow with specks of shimmer in it. So when you apply it on your lid, it's not going to highlight your fine lines. But at the same time, it gives you enough glam and glitz. As you can see, it looks pretty delicate. You don't need an adhesive or a base for it. You can apply directly on your lid with a flat shader brush. And if you want to take it up one notch, you can also use loose pigment. Basically, these are sequence eyeshadows, but they are loose. And I'm going to be applying it with my finger. The one that I'm using is called Lion. It was a collaboration with Catlin Lights and Colourpop. And I absolutely love this pigment. These work best when applied with finger. But if you want a lighter pigment, you can also use a brush. And you can see how stunning that looks. And it has not exaggerated my fine lines. And then I'm just going to add a pop of highlighter in the very inner corner. I'm using Flash by Ofra.
And if you have hooded eyes like me, here's a trick to the eyeliner to lift your outer corner. With an angled brush, I'm going to use some black eyeshadow to pull out an outer wing under the hood. But I'm not going to take it all the way to the very outer corner of my lash line. I'm going to leave a small gap between the outer corner and the wing. And then I'm going to join it to my lash line. And it's okay if you have that fold and the wing goes under the fold. It'll still give you that lifted effect in the outer corner. Using the highlighter flash again, I'm going to highlight my brow bones. Before I curl my lashes and finish up with a coat of mascara, I'm using the Diamond Mascara by Physicians Formula. We've got all the right combination in this look. We have the shimmer without exaggerating the fine lines or wrinkles. And we have a wing in the outer corner giving that lifted effect and which is also hooded eye friendly. Let's finish up the rest of the face. I'm going to be using On The Mauve. This is from Bare Minerals as blush. Absolutely love the shade. It's very delicate but adds the right amount of flush to your cheeks. And on my lips, I'm going to be using the Rouge Artist Lipstick from Makeup Forever. This is a matte lipstick in the shade 320. And here's the finished look. It's classy and it looks youthful. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. So comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, as always, please don't forget to thumbs up. Check out the View Products link embedded within this video on the left bottom corner to view all the products that I used in today's tutorial. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like these. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.